Hi, and welcome back to Football Made Simple. Since returning to the Premier League, Wolves have been impressive, finishing 7th in back-to-back -back seasons. With a well-balanced first eleven, featuring the likes of Rui Patricio, Neves and Traore, they have challenged for Europe in both seasons. Their tactician behind this is Nuno Espirito Santo. But what tactics has he used? In this video we take a look. And when assessing his tactics, we use stats at certain points. And a great place you can get stats and news for your favourite teams and players is through the OneFootball app, which is completely free through the sponsored link in the description below. Nuno has two clear preferred formations this season, the 3-4-1-2 and the 3-4-3. The differences are slight, but the former allows a bit more control in the midfield when playing against more possession-oriented sides. Nuno is also a fan of players who, when needed, can play in multiple positions, such as Dendonka, Moutinho, Traore and Cody. From deeper regions, when playing with a front two, Wolves are happy to go long as necessary. Jimenez is comfortable in the air, and Diego Jota will constantly look to run in behind looking for the flick on, whilst the attacking midfielder looks to pick up any second balls. And although initially Wolves lined up with the front two of Jota and Jimenez, soon that shifted to a 3-4-3, and one of the key reasons for that was that Wolves liked to dominate in the wide regions. In fact, only Sheffield attack down the middle less often than Wolves do. So, the new formation brings in Adama Traore, who was outstanding in 1920 and also allows Diego Jota to play wider on the left-hand side. However, their best ball players are still in the centre of the park in Neves and Moutinho, so they usually progress the ball through them, and Neves tends to drop deeper to receive the ball, whilst Moutinho pushes higher up, often behind a line of pressure to help progression. And they average over 45 passes per game each, with the highest passes into the final third for the team as well. But for the most part, positionally speaking, the double pivot does not advance high up the pitch, instead letting the ball do the moving and maintaining a solid shape in case of the counter-attack. And the fullbacks in Johnny and the now departed Doherty are vital to the attack, and Doherty in particular as Wolves use the right hand side 42% of the time, more than any other side in the league besides Sheffield. During the initial phases, Traore and Jota can stay wider, pinning the opposition fullbacks deep and giving their wingbacks time on the ball to pick out a pass and they're both in the top 5 progressive passes for the team. But just as importantly, they look to carry the ball higher up the pitch into the final third and both are also in the top 5 for progressive dribbles. And by being so high and wide, the Wolves wingers have options. On the right, we most often see Traore move into the wide regions to cause the overload. He looks to get on the ball as often as possible and is one of the elite dribblers in world football. From these wide regions, he can almost effortlessly bypass his man and attack the byline and look to cut the ball back often towards Jimenez. Traore completes the most dribbles in the league and the Traore-Jimenez partnership was the most lethal in the league as well. On the left hand side, it is slightly different. Jota operates more as an inside forward and will often tuck into the half space hoping to draw the attention of the fullback and this creates space for Johnny to overlap and look for the cross. And if the fullback commits to the wide region, Jota can get on the ball and either look for the shot or play in Jimenez. As a result, we see more crossing from Traore than Jota and more shooting from Jota than Traore. Johnny is also able to get wide more often and look for the cross than Doherty. But on the occasions where Wolves attack centrally, Jimenez is comfortable acting as the link man and dropping deep to pick up the ball whilst the wingers tuck in as inside forwards and look to pin the defence back and potentially make the run. When defending, structure is key. Neves and Moutinho can move wide to plug the gaps when necessary, but for the most part they drop deep into a 5-3-2 or 5-4-1 and the fullbacks have big enough engines to get up and down the pitch. And when the ball is swung into the box from wide, they are comfortable with three aerially dominant centre backs. And from these scenarios, they are primed for a counter attack, which is another big weapon of theirs. As many teams commit full backs high, it leaves space to be exploited. We often see the ball played long to a dropping Jimenez, whilst Traore and Jota look to make runs into the space left behind. Nuno Espirito Santo's Wolves have been impressive and priority must go to ensuring a quality replacement for Doherty. But where do you see them finishing this season? Drop it down below. And a special thanks to my Patreon, whose support allows me to cover more niche teams. If you want to support and get early access to videos and exclusive videos, check out patreon.com slash football made simple. 
And a big shout out to Chiron, Benny, Harold Mendoza, Jordan Rodriguez, Ishpal Jandu, Jeffrey Hanna, and William Wilkinson. 